Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of online birth uh, certification system in ASP.NET Core. So, uh, create a new project in uh, using Visual Studio and uh, also uh, add some modules in the project. So, the first thing uh, to, uh, to add module or you can say uh, class in the project that is the application user class because in uh, in project we have two roles that is the admin role and the second one is the user role a user can register or you can say uh, fill uh, multiple application forms for the child birth okay so the identity is must because uh, credentials uh, and you you can say authorization and authentication both features uh, must to enable in that project okay so uh, the application user class is created the second thing uh, you can add that is the data context class and that class is used uh, for communication with the uh, identity or or you can say that uh, created tables so that class is must to inherit identity db context because in its project we have uh, we will use identity uh, database <clears throat> okay so the uh, basic thing behind that project is uh, two roles and uh, the first one class is used for a uh, certification system that is the child uh, child form registration system okay so use application user class uh, for creating users and the data context class for uh, creating communication between the tables and the uh, interface okay uh, add some uh, uh, new get packages uh, like uh, asp.net core dot microsoft dot entity framework core and uh, like tools and uh, for the migrations okay and identity and that uh, namespace is used microsoft.asp.net core dot uh, identity dot microsoft sorry entity framework core so microsoft dot uh, asp.net core dot identity is there so install it and remove uh, automatically installed uh, project uh, package that is there so just removed it that is not a core uh, core package must to install asp.net core package for your identity so just remove it and again resolve the problems db context options so db context options and in which you can define the data context class so uh, after creating the data context class you can uh, create a uh, SQL light connection string in your app setting dot JSON file and uh, that connection string is registered into your startup dot CS file so this is the basic thing you can do in into your project after that you have to create a child form in which you can take uh, these properties like uh, ID of the child and the child name and the uh, child father's name and uh, child mother's name plus birth plus i mean to say that child city uh, child address uh, and, and many others like uh, mother's aadhar card number and uh, father's uh, identity proof and many others so these are the essential properties to add in the child registration form and also add the gender of the child so make a enumeration for the gender <coughs> And that enumeration is uh, inside in the same namespace. Yeah, that is the birth certification child dot model. Okay, so the next property you can add uh, like the city of the uh, like city and address. So that thing is the uh, pin code number. So these are the essential properties you can add for the child registration form hospital which is used I mean to say that hospital name okay so these are the essential things so uh, also you have to add mapping mappings so uh, 
a user can uh, register or you can say a user can fill multiple uh, child forms and uh, also show that the status when any user can fill child registration form then default uh, status will appear as a pending okay and just after uh, confirmation by the admin you have to show your status that is approved if anything mistakes filled by user in the child registration form then admin can uh, discard that form okay so uh, that uh, um, thing you can also add into your project so status is related to that uh, things like the approved like pending and discard when you add identity into into your project must to map razor pages by using this endpoints dot map razor pages into your startup dot cs file okay so add identity by using their scaffolding also register uh, identity into your configure service method in project you have to use both features that is the role feature and the authorization features that is and authentication is also so you can add app dot use authorization and use authentication in configuration service method must to add identity with the roles that is the add default identity with the application user class add roles with the identity role class add entity framework store with the data context class okay so this is the simple thing you can add it into your project so the next thing you can do into your project that is the migration and also add connection string into your project and register that connection string into your startup.cs file so uh, what would you think about uh, administrator role and uh, when any uh, user register into your uh, website or uh, into your project then must be a user so that uh, that role provide to the user by your application so uh, that thing you can add uh, to add a role uh, into your register dot cshtml fail page that is just uh, razor pages in the latter video session i will uh, cover it <coughs> so after creating your connection string uh, and your your connection uh, use sqlite server so add services dot add db context data context options options dot use sqlite if your sqlite namespace is not there or you can say package is not there must to install by using nuget packages like a sqlite and that package is microsoft dot entity framework core dot sqlite okay add it and changes uh, perform changes in your startup dot cs file okay uh, the mapping between the projects is a user can fill multiple forms uh, multiple child forms okay that is the one to many mappings and status is related between the uh, child form is one to one mapping between the status class and the child registration form that is the one to one mapping okay so this is and uh, one to one mapping between the application user class and the status class that is only one uh, admin can change the status okay so that thing is used so uh, just open your application user class and add some properties inside the application user class the first is first name the second thing is address and the mapping is a user can fill multiple child forms so i collection 
that is the forms and the child registration form you have to add uh, that is the application user id so user id is there so just mapped with your application user id that is and prop application user class and that is application user okay so now the next thing is one to one mapping between the status class and the child registration form that is integer status id prop status and the status status okay that is the child registration form and after doing the whole things you must to add uh, these classes into your data context class in inside your db sat so the first class you can add child registration form the second class is uh, the status class okay and also add a model overriding features on model creating override void on model creating in model builder and on model creating model builder after that you can uh, apply migrations into your project that is add migration for the migration must to add a tools package if you are not installed also if uh, if you have updated version of the tools package must to add update <coughs> add migration in it oops build failed so before migration must to use build your project and resolve your user manager by using their namespace and just after that you have to add migrations that is add migration in it and update database so these things you have to add into your project so guys uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel and uh, share this video on your uh, facebook account and uh, on your whatsapp accounts and also subscribe my channel and also like this video now just after uh, doing this must to add a new uh, db initializer class and in the db initializer class add a static method that is initialize async method uh, that is the initialize async method in which you can take application db context so we have a data context class instead of application db context and i service provider that is the service provider and the user manager class and user manager application user class okay so uh, inside you you can uh, add the roles of the project that is uh, two roles in the project that is the user role and the admin role and also you uh, you can make admin inside it inside uh, this class like that email and the password is related to the admin and admin created inside a role and also add in the user manager class as a role to add user async okay so how to call that class when your project will start so the simple thing you can add in your program.cs file so just replace that code with your code so just program.cs file just paste it here and inside the man function you have to uh, check the host.service.create scope resolve create scope and the context data context db initializer class resolve a user manager class so resolve db initializer because in that method uh not used a user manager so just add it user manager and resolve the uh, error so uh, guys please 
डोंट फॉरगेट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्लीज 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 सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल यूजर मैनेजर सर्विस डॉट गेट रिक्वायर्ड सर्विसेस यूजर मैनेजर एप्लीकेशन यूजर क्लास एंड डिजोल्व यूजिंग्स दैट इज ए एस पी नेट को और आइडेंटिटी एंड इनिशियलाइज ए सिंक इन विच यू कैन एड यूजर मैनेजर वेरिएबल एंड ऑल्सो रिमूव दैट रिजोल्व दैट यूजिंग्स थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड वेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टूटोरियल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज आई रिक्वेस्ट यू डोंट फॉरगेट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल